leverage by um, by modifying those applications. So, if you see the uh, NIST five essential characteristics, uh, they define it as it a cloud should provide a on-demand service. Cloud is about the on-demand service. A service and storage power need no human intervention. Second important characteristic is uh, broad network access. The service, cloud service should be accessible through mobile laptops and other devices and using the client browsers. Uh, resource pooling is also important characteristics. Uh, multi-tenancy, I will go through multi-tenancy in detail in next uh, few slides. Exact location of resources are not known um, in case of cloud. Rapid elasticity, so the storage network bandwidth computing power can be at will increased and decreased. So the control should be in the customer and the provider, provider should accommodate the customer request as per the elasticity demand. Major services, also the cloud service should provide me the major transactions, resources, monitoring, control and reporting, audit logging and what is happening with my application. So all kind of major measurement statistics should I should get. So if a provider is providing all these five services, then we can say that that provider is a cloud provider. So often people are getting uh, uh, dis distracted that I'm already hosting my web uh, uh, website on web hosting and it's already on internet, so it means that I'm on cloud. It is not actually the true cloud. So the provider who is providing all these five characteristics is a cloud provider. Okay, so if you see the Traditionally, what was, what is happening and what will change in cloud computing because cloud computing is a, a business transformation or technology transformation. The way of doing your business is going to be changed and uh, it will certainly affect the whole ecosystem of your organization. The various departments will, be, uh, uh, will also be uh, affected and the way they need to think about the um, application uh, uh, deployments and uh, selling to their customers, the so whole scenario will change. So if we quickly see the uh, traditional hosting and uh, cloud computing is cloud is sold by demand and it has elasticity and it is fully managed by the provider. So these are three major characteristics. And uh, there are three types of cloud service pro models. One is infrastructure as service, platform as service and application uh, as service, that is software as service. So infrastructure as service uh, is at the bottom of the pyramid. On the top of that, you can define and design the uh, platform and which you can sell it as a platform as service. And on the top of the platform, there is a applications you uh, customers can write and they can sell it to their customers as a software as service. So in infrastructure is basically uh, computing, storage, networking and lending the infrastructure to do some uh, um, activity or uh, design your application and run it. Platform is adding something uh, additional. It is giving you the infrastructure plus some development tools. And application is software as services. Basically, it is giving you the whole ecosystem or software or business process that you can just uh, leverage uh, to uh, fulfill your business demand. So technically speaking about these three models and compared with traditional IT, uh, here is the um, quick summary. In the traditional IT, that is uh, most of the organization, their enterprise IT department, in-house IT department is doing um, servers, virtualization, OS, middleware, data application, everything is managed by them. Now what is happening in infrastructure as service, you vendor is providing the uh, network, storage, server, OS and virtualization and uh, vendor means a crowd provider and you manage means a, uh, as a consumer, as a business. You need to design your own application, you need to take care of your own data, runtime and middleware. In platform as service, you get the infrastructure as service plus some uh, development tools and on the top of you need to write your own application and make your own data accessible through applications. Windows Azure is one of the example of platform as service. Software as service is everything is managed by the vendor that is a cloud provider and 
the people will consume that service. Like for example, um, Salesforce.com and Salesforce.com can act as a platform as service as well as software as service. If you see TaxGuru.com, that is Indian tax filing website, that is uh, a software as a service. You can see uh, Redbus.in, online bus uh, tickets booking, that is a software as service. So cloud benefits are uh, basically uh, faster deployment.